Hello and welcome to the Dad Strength Podcast. I'm your host, Richie Leahy. On this podcast, we talk about items that are essential for new dads. We go through each item. I have a list on Ranker.com where you can go ahead and vote for items that you think are essential for new dads to go ahead and purchase. You have, or we, we're building a list of 25 items. You can go on to Ranker.com, search Dad Strength, and find our list. And you can vote once for each item. You can either vote it up or vote it down. And this will sort the list based on how many, uh, what percentage of votes are positive or up votes compared to how many votes are negative or down votes in our list of essential items. So we're piggybacking a little bit off of last week's podcast. This week we are going to go ahead and do a boppy lounger. Now last week we talked about baby swings. And I said how they were essential for brand new infants. It helps them put us put them asleep, kind of soothes them. Uh, you can let them run. As a parent, it gives you a little bit of comfort. Well, this is called a boppy lounger this week. Sort of the same idea. It's definitely not a swing. It is more or less a cushion that you put your child in, and it helps them kind of get their own sense of like feel. They can stretch out, move around on it, and the way it's built, it's sunk in the middle. So it's like a pillow that is designed to hold your child in the center without like straps or any type of seatbelt or anything. At least ours didn't have that. Now some of them, they might be built with that. I don't know. But the Bobby Lounger is basically a pillow that you put your child in the middle and it will hold them and keep them from rolling over falling out as long as it's on a flat surface i don't recommend putting them on the couch in it because if they fall especially when they're first born off the couch that's like a two or three feet fall man i don't think it's as high as three feet but it's it's a pretty big drop uh, around a foot or two at least where they fall off that they could seriously hurt themselves so go ahead, and when you get the boppy lounger, if you get one, you could build your own out of just pillows, but this is convenient enough, and they're usually cheap enough. It's definitely something you can get secondhand, unlike the swing where there's like mechanical parts and it's actually moving. This is basically a glorified pillow. You don't even have to get the name brand. If you don't care, if people notice, you can get definitely some type of pet bed might even be cheaper. They make ones that are similar ideas where like give us your pet somewhere soft in the middle to lay and it kind of like props them up. Um, that's what the Boppy Lounger does. It's basically, and the Boppy I think is just the name brand. It's a pillow that's kind of like snaked around. If you had a pregnancy pillow, it would be similar to that. Or if your wife did or girlfriend, uh, they have, it's basically just like a circle pillow. A throw pillow it's not that big because it's for infants that aren't that big and the middle just has less padding so that it kind of sinks and holds your child in the place so you would lay them definitely on their back don't lay them face down because anytime you're laying them face down on the soft pillow that could suffocate them and especially in your bed or in their crib don't put any blankets or anything so here you have the bobby lounger you could put them in the middle on their back and sit on the floor with them. I think the one end is higher too, to keep their head up. So you put their head on that side, the higher end. So they're, it's kind of like they're, they're not sitting up, but they're kind of like in a recliner, like their own lazy boy, where they're able to just sit and watch television or kind of hang out. So it's something we use a lot in conjunction with uh, belly time. So make sure that they're having time on their belly on the complete flat ground. No blankets or anything because, like I said, you don't want to block their airways. If their head gets tired or they can't hold it up anymore, if you have a, them on a flat surface where their face could sink in and they have trouble breathing, it's going to cause issues. So when you put them on tummy time, make sure it's on a flat, hard surface so that they can still breathe if their head gets tired and they can't hold it up anymore. Or if you notice that, you can watch them and uh, transition them or pick them up to give them a little bit of a rest 
So the boppy lounger is kind of laying on their back. You don't want them in there all the time because you don't want to stunt physical development. So have them just kind of lay back in it and uh, just relax. It's basically what they're going for. It's kind of like their own mini couch. I had, I would sit on the floor, put our daughter in hers, and I could go ahead and watch football, play some video games, uh, read, do some work, and I would be, I'm content that she would be able to sit in there and kind of hang out and do her own thing. You can go ahead and dangle some toys. What we did, we had a, uh, I don't know what they're called, but it's kind of like a mobile where it's like a little play gym where it had things go over. Like it was like a, it was like one of those swimming styrofoam uh, swimming arms or whatever they are that had like little rings in it that would hold toys. And it would kind of go in an arch over her like belly or on her back. You put her on there and then she would play and there would be like a mirror and stuff. Well, the boppy, you can kind of put it in that same direction. So slide it in there. So they're sitting and they still have those stimulants above them. If you have her, I guess you could build your own. It was just basically like one of those styrofoam floating things that they put in poles. And they just put plastic hooks through it. Or even, actually, it might have been ties. It might have just been like little little ropes. Now, obviously, you don't want to give them a rope that they could that's long enough that they could do something with whenever they're a little bit bigger. And then it just had like little toys and mirrors kind of like a mobile that they could play with. So the poppy launcher is good, good with that because it helps them kind of sit up when they're very young and they're still able to get the physical stimulation of playing games. And that's depending upon if you have a setup like that. Like we had already got, it's like a, it was like a turtle that had little clicks or like little um, seatbelt things that clicked into place that would hold the styrofoam arms up. And I think it was two of them actually that crossed to make it stable and you could just slide the boppy lounger under that and she was able to reach and play for it at a younger age that she wouldn't have been able to reach if she were until she were a little bit older just because of the distance of the play plan but slide the boppy lounger in there and you have your own homemade play gym ready to go so this is an item that i like to use because you don't have to worry about them rolling or falling Again, I don't recommend putting it on the couch, but I know people who have had like a bigger section on the couch. They kind of prop them up as they were sitting with them, and then you just put your hand on top of them so they don't roll off. So it's kind of like you're you're hanging out with your kid. Um, I don't recommend it for that for the same reason like they could fall. Just sit on the floor with your kid when they're first born. I know some people have medical issues where that might not be possible. Well, then that's fine. Do whatever you need to do so that you're comfortable as a parent. But the boppy lounger does give them a way that they can relax. So that's basically what we used, those three things. That's why I wanted to put it after the swing. We used the swing to help the, help her take a nap, swing back and forth, do that, whenever they were hanging out. Now, we didn't watch a lot of like TV or give her screen time. I know that's kind of like controversial. What we did do was play music, so it's something you could put music on or listen to like foreign language radio if you're trying to have your kid be bilingual. So that's something that we did and played with toys or whatever while they were hanging out. Let them stretch their arms out, try to build that hand-eye coordination. Definitely important. And this gives them a way to kind of just do that without laying uncomfortably on their back. Uh, they Some kids have like the soft spot on their head. And you might have heard that if they lay on their back for too long, their head will be flat. Some people have to wear like a helmet or whatever. The bobby lounger kind of protects that. And make sure then you rotate them and give them tummy time. So even though the bobby lounger is good and it gives them a safe space to kind of hang out, just think of you relaxing, like I said, in the Lazy Boy or on your couch or whatever. Uh, make sure that you roll them over. Give them tummy time so that their neck muscles develop. You definitely need that. You need some type of other stimulation. So do, do a mix of all three. Even get into a routine. Do like 10 minutes here, 15 minutes here, 20 minutes, uh, whatever. Don't go for like hours at end where the child's just sitting in the boppy lounger. Make sure you're engaging them. 
stimulating them, helping them grow. That's your job as a parent. So go ahead and uh, vote for Boppy Lounger on our website or go to ranker.com, search Dad Strength in there, and you can find it. I think I said I wasn't going to talk about the website, but you could find this podcast by searching Richie Leahy's Dad Strength in any search engine, Google or Bing, whatever you use. Find our website. You can get show notes for the latest episodes. I'm working on getting them caught up. Again, go to ranker.com, search for dad strength, and vote on our essential items for new dads list. We're hoping to build that up and get images and everything. And eventually, after a little bit of time, probably when this podcast comes to an end, we're going to go ahead, because I already have all the items up to give people ample time to vote. But at the end, we're going to go ahead and archive that and put it on the site. So take the list down. By the time you listen to this, uh, if you're listening to this like way in the future, right now we're recording this, and I'm recording this in 2017, that list might be gone. So make sure you get your votes in because I will eventually archive it. And that way people who stumble upon this later on can go ahead and find out more about the show and get the notes. But that's it for this week. Go ahead, subscribe, tell your friends, rate, give us a review. My name is Richie Leahy. You can follow me on Twitter, on Instagram, Facebook. I have a page set up, or I'm working on getting a page set up. Kind of going back and forth on that. Uh, But you can find that. And tune in next Friday for another items on our list of essential items for new dads. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you next week.